As you start to get into the Divi Cloud system, there are some foundational components that you need to understand in order to be able to get the most out of the system. And the highlights of those components are resources, filters, insights, packs, and bots. And in this first video, we're just going to talk about resources and filters and how they turn into insights. So for that, resources is our central inventory page. And one of the big things about how we treat a central inventory DB Cloud is pretty unique as far as um, how multi-cloud goes. Because what we saw is across the major cloud providers, there's a huge amount of overlap. When you look at any of the core services, compute, database, storage, functions, load balancing, the list goes on, there's, there's a ton of overlap. And the names might be different, but the functionality is the same. And so we said, okay, if that's the case, then where it makes sense, let's bring it together. Instead of calling it a EC2 instance versus a VM, call it an instance. Instead of RDS versus SQL Server versus Cloud SQL, call it a database. And by doing this, you get two key things. First is you now end up with a central inventory of, in this example, our relational databases, not just across region and across account, but actually across cloud as well. But more importantly is that we do the standardization on ingestion, which means that by the time we're looking at this here, this data has been normalized, again, where it makes sense. And so from here, what I can do is now, if I write a rule that says my databases should be encrypted and should not be public, I can write that rule once and it'll actually mean the same thing across these different providers. So whether you are a multi-cloud company today or you might be in the future due to um, even like a merger or acquisition, Using Divi Cloud in this normalization, you get much more of a one size fits all and help future proof your environment. And so from here, this is that central inventory, but at the end of the day, people want to use Divi Cloud to be able to define good or bad in their environment and be able to check their configurations. And those checks of configurations are what we call insights. And we'll show those in a later video, but what we want to talk about today is how we use this resources page to create custom insights for those things that we just can't pre-can. Uh, some of the classic examples of this are like running checks for resources running in approved regions or tagging policies. You probably have something in mind for each of those, but everyone does it a little bit different, and so we can't pre-can it. And so instead, if I want to write a check for it, we start with this resources page. And the way that we do it is we apply filters. And so filters fall into two categories. They can be binary. Uh, is it encrypted or is it not? Or they can be more fill in the blank, which uh, for example would be like that tagging policy. So let's say I wanted to make sure that all of my databases have an environment tag and only my approved values. I can apply this tag here and then say, I want to make sure that all of my databases have a environment tag. And then I also only want to see approved values because if I have a good key and a bad value, we still haven't gotten things right. So I only want to see prod, dev, or sandbox. So I go and I'll apply that. And I've tagged my databases poorly, so we haven't scoped things down a whole lot. But now I've got the list of all of these different databases that have this particular problem. And again, we can keep on taking this further. We don't have to just add one filter. We can keep on stacking them if there is a more specific question we want to ask. Let's say we also wanted to see if it's public. Because a combination of these two would be a much bigger issue and something that we would want to deal with. Whatever combination of filters it is that we need to apply, we keep on stacking them in here. We can see in the inventory here whether or not what I've collected actually makes sense and is the check that I want. And then if this is something that I want to be able to come back to on an ongoing basis and do more reporting off of and drive automation off of and all of that, we save it as an insight. Insights is essentially just Divi Cloud's name for a check. And so we say here database instances without environment tag and, uh, and are public. A tag. Give it a severity. And now assuming we like the rest of this, we submit it. 
and now we've saved this as an insight. And so what, we're cover, what we will cover in a later video is then how we can take those custom insights that we create using that workflow, as well as all the ones that Divi Cloud pre-cans, and really take this further so that we can make this something that scales for your environment, no matter how complex it is, and is something that we can use to improve the security of your accounts. Thanks for watching.